Hello and welcome to the 12th Top 5 Wednesday of the Year. I am Blue Moon and this week's topic is Spring Reads. If you are new to Top 5 Wednesday, check the link in the description box for topics and such. If it is your first time on my channel, feel free to leave a comment or consider subscribing if you haven't already. Spring for me is a mid-March to June-ish, but this year it either feels like a dragged winter or too early fall. But there is also a saying, it blooms or not, it is spring. So let's buckle up and read some awesome books. I love to read magic and myth-centered fantasies in this season. Last year I reread Harry Potter and Percy Jackson, but this spring most of my TBR is occupied by Booktube SFF Award nominees and their ancestors, or more like the previous book or books of a series or duology. I'm going to include way more than 5 books on today's list. So please, bear with me. So as the list is not going to help me today, let's do it monthly style. For the remaining of this month, I'm planning to finish Circe by Madeline Miller along with The Calculating Stars by Mary Robinette Cole. I'm halfway through The Calculating Stars already and it speaks to me on so many levels. I will try to do a review on this but I'm not good at that so maybe I'll opt for a discussion episode. I would love to squeeze in Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shannon McGuire. I love Wayward Children series. I just read the first two books and can't wait to know what happens after the events of Every Heart is a Doorway. Reading about Jack and Jill's life in Down Among the Sticks and Bones gave me a wider and clearer perspective of the demanding and damaging gender norms put in place by society and mostly the inexplainable expectations of parents and society from a little child. I will soon do an episode on Down Among the Sticks and Bones as this is by far my favorite book of the series. April is going to be amazing with Poppy War, Farmerside and Skyward. I am going to devour Vengeful by V. Schwab. I read Vicious at the beginning of this month and I had Adored it. I guess I love Mad Scientist more than I realized before. But I guess any fan of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde or Jules Verne's crazy stories would love knowing Victor and Eli with their genius and eccentricity. I'm hoping to read Will of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. I have the Mistborn series on my TBR for this year, so I would try to fit that somewhere in my list. This year, May is going to be awesome. Can't wait to finish Red Sister and get to Grey Sister. I loved the first book of the Book of Ancestor series by Mark Lawrence. I kept the last two chapters and epilogue unread, so I could almost seamlessly transit from book 1 to book 2. Hmm. Which is a little bit stupid. I know, but hey. This is how I like to do it. Like, I love to read series back to back. Like, a whole series in a closer proximity. Yeah. So, I also have to read Strange Dreamer by the editor before I can pick up the next book of the series, Muse of Nightmare, which is, again, <laughs> a book of SFF our nominees in the Y category. I initially wanted to skip the series, but Booktube SFF gave me the chance to read the duology, two books, back to back. So why not take the chance and read the duology? It like in like one go, like you know, same month. Yeah. Also recently rewatched the review of. Tale of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse on Sam's channel, Carson Tomes, and I don't want to miss the chance to read such an interesting book. The slot of sci-fi is going to be filled with Record of a Spaceborne View by Becky Chambers, but I'm not sure if I would be able to get to it within me, because already I have so many books to read, and this is the third book of the Wayfarer series, and I haven't read the first two books. So am I in for a sci-fi readathon kind of situation? 
you know what i guess i will do that anyway i'll read a thon or something like that let you guys know on my twitter and instagram by the way links to my social media are always in the description box so you want to say hi it's right there I'm going to use June as a midpoint of the year to evaluate and reconsider my reading goals and yearly TBR. Let me know about your spring reading goals and expectations. That's all for today. Until next week, stay bookish, stay happy. Bye-bye.